Hello everyone back in my Red Power 2 test world just to show you guys one last piece of Red Power, at least as it exists now, and that is Blutricity. I know some of you guys have been anxiously awaiting Blutricity, so why don't I get started with it. Um, as of pre-release 3B, which is the current version as I'm writing this and making this video, uh, there's only a very little bit amount of Blutricity, kind of a teaser almost on uh, Elram's part, just to show us what she has in mind. Um, I should note that reading her blog today, she posted uh, a new note on her blog that really sounds pretty neat. I highly recommend going over to Elloram.com, which I'll link in the, uh, in the comments in the description of this video, um, to check out pretty much what she's planning to do with Red Power 2. Um, she has a whole bunch of things planned, and just let me mention one or two things that she actually says in her uh, post here. Um, she says, her last line of the post is, um, there are tons of long-range plans. Light bridges, fusion reactors, holographic, swarm drones, the sky's the limit. So that should really give you an idea of where she's planning to go with this mod. I'm thinking she's going to have just a ridiculous amount of awesome, cool stuff coming up for us, and I can't wait to check it out. But for now, we've got a very limited subset of things we can do with Blutricity, so I want to get started showing you what that is so far. So the first thing you're going to want to know about the existence of is this item called Nicolite. It basically looks like blue redstone, and that's basically what it is. It's called Blutricity, um, is, is the power set that it's going to uh, create for us. And uh, Nicolite is basically uh, similar to redstone. Um, I'm not sure if you can run along the ground by itself. I think it's just an item, so no, you can't click on the ground to run it. Um, however, if you're familiar with the red iron ingot, that we use to create redstone wiring, you'll quickly recognize the blue iron ingot recipe because it's pretty much the exact same thing. So I want to get myself an iron ingot and one, two, three, four pieces of uh, nicolite. Oh wait, I'm sorry, it's not iron, it's silver that I need. Um, silver's uh, pretty rare actually, and uh, it's one of the new items added as part of the uh, world editing. So there's silver out there, along with the uh, tin and copper and nicolite, as well as sapphire, emerald, and ruby. So, I'm sorry, it was a silver ingot that you want to combine with nicolite, and you'll see the alloy furnace cooking along now, happily. And it'll create for us a blue alloy bar. And that's going to be used pretty similarly to the red alloy bar. So why don't I cook up a couple more of these guys, and we'll get some red alloy ingots going. Why don't I just go for a whole stack? That should be just fine. And I'll come back in a moment once I have a few of these guys. Actually, looks like I have enough for now for the first recipe I'm going to make. So, let's make ourselves a blue alloy wire. So we've seen red alloy, wi alloy wire, which carries redstone signals. A blue alloy wire carries electricity. Um, similar to industrial craft electricity, and I have to apologize, I'm going to be making... Um, equivalencies to uh, um, industrial craft just because they both have to do with electricity. But this is uh, pretty, you know, different. So keep that in mind. So the one thing we're going to need here to create this is some wool. So why don't I get myself some wool. And any color will do. And basically you want to run your blue alloy ingots down the lip middle there and put some wool on the side. And Elleram has posted on her blog that this is a temporary uh, recipe and that eventually this wool will be replaced with rubber. Um, and if you've seen some of my server plays, you'll know there are rubber trees um, that are added in um, Red Power 2. So there we go, blue alloy wire. And that wire works just like redstone wire, except it's blue and it transmits electricity. So let's see what kind of electricity we can transmit and where we can transmit it to. So hopefully you watched the episode where I created a silicon wafer by making a silicon bool and combining it with a diamond handsaw to get 16 silicon wafers. Hopefully you watched that episode. So I'm going to go ahead and put those silicon wafers in the alloy furnace with some nicolite. And it's going to go similar to the red um, silicon wafer. We're going to get a blue silicon wafer by using one of these silicon wafers and four nicolite. And that gives us a blue doped wafer, kind of like the red doped wafer that we had, like I said, in a previous episode. So why don't I get a handful of these? I'm not gonna actually wait for them all to build because I need a good number of them. So I'm just gonna give myself 64 for now. And I'm gonna head over to my crafting table. 
why don't I actually get one more of these blue alloy ingots. So if I place in my crafting table a blue alloy ingot and some blue wafers around it, we get a solar panel. Pretty spiffy. So why don't I get myself a few more solar panels. Ta-da! Well, it's nighttime, so that's not going to help too much, so let's rectify that. So solar panels in pre-release 3B are the only way to generate blue tricity, and blue alloy wire are the only way to transmit it. So let's get something to transmit it to. I'm going to need a blue alloy ingot. Looks like I'm going to need a couple of iron bars. And I'm going to need some clay blocks. And I'm going to place them like so. And that'll give us a blue trick furnace. Blue electric. I don't know, that's hard to pronounce. Blue electric furnace. And basically this is going to be an electric furnace. So let's go ahead and put down the electric furnace. We can see it's got this neat little nifty interface, and it's got an input and output slot like most furnaces. So I'm going to go ahead and place, well, I'll wait to place cobblestone in there. So now I'm going to have to go ahead and power this guy. So how am I going to power him? Well, I want to run a blue wire to it. And you can see the blue wire connected to the bottom of the furnace nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and place a solar panel on the side of one of these blue wires. And if you give it a little bit of time, you'll start to see this power meter fill up. But I'm going to go ahead and place down a couple more solar panels, because they actually don't produce a terribly large amount of electricity, as would be expected, because they're probably a low-tier item in terms of electrical generation. So I'm going to go ahead and place down a few more. And, oh, now we can see we're just starting to get a smidge of energy here in this little uh, battery bar. So that's pretty neat. One thing that you'll notice about the solar panels is they're pretty thin, so they fit rather nicely on top of blocks. Um, you know, they're not quite as big and bulky as the solar panels that you'll find in industrial craft, which is by no means a knock against industrial craft, they're just different. Um, and knowing the modding community like I do, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody at some point makes a crossover mod that combines the electrical capabilities of red power and industrial craft, but I'm probably getting ahead of myself. So I'm going to go ahead and run some more, um, some more solar panels here, just to get this process to speed up a little bit. And you should also note that just like industrial craft, um, the power going through these wires will degrade over a certain length. Uh, I don't know if that information is public or you know easy to find anywhere, so I can't give you that information now. But just keep in mind, a long wire will start to lose some of the power coming through. And if we look at our blue trick furnace now, it's definitely you know building up a charge inside. And if I place some cobblestone in, you'll see it's not doing anything yet. I think this charge actually has to get somewhere before it starts cooking. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Um, also, you'll notice that once you get to the halfway mark, um, it goes from red to yellow. So this is a pretty neat little graphic, actually. It actually gets uh, all the way up to some other colors as well. We'll see that in a moment. All right, I just got to the point where it looks like it's starting to run. And it's cooking along pretty well. And you can see this bar here. Um, I think we're producing more energy from our solar panels than the furnace is using, so we're getting a net gain. And this light here is turned on, which I think indicates that um, it's got enough energy to run. Let's see what happens if I break this cabling. Alright, so now it's drained, and this little light turned off, and it stopped running. So I'll go ahead and reconnect my cabling. And this light's back on, so I'm guessing this little indicator here means that there's enough of a charge in the furnace to actually run. And I'm going to take my cobblestone out, because I want to let this guy charge up all the way. We've just gotten to the point where it's got a green bar. Okay, so it looks like we've got pretty much a full amount of energy here. It's not filling up anymore, and I'm sorry I can't tell you guys what this bar is about. I don't know if it's implemented or not yet, but I've not figured out how to fill this bar up with anything. I'm not sure what it does, so I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cobblestone back in, and you can see it cooking along just well. Um, it does pretty good. So that pretty much wraps up uh, the blue electric furnace and the blue tricity, and pretty much how that all works right now in pre-release 3B. Obviously this is some very low and low tier um, machines, and she has a lot more coming. I mean a lot more planned. Oh, by the way, it has a neat little blue electric you know, display down here once it's actually running. So that's kind of neat. See? pretty spiffy. So uh, definitely check this mod out, and you want to follow its progress, because I have the feeling that Red Power 2 is going to be an amazing mod. She's continuing to add new things, and I'm really looking forward to um, 
pre-release 4, where I've heard some of the cool things she's adding, and uh, I can't wait to check them out. So this is Direwolf20 signing off on Red Power 2, uh, Blutricity, as it exists in version 3B, pre-release 3B. Take it easy.